as the third national conference of the events for the theme Strategic Solutions for Good Governance, Security and Sustainable Growth in Nigeria, the director of Aminu Kano Center for Democratic Studies in Bayero University Kano, Professor Habu Mohamed, says the sustainability of projects presents a scary scenario in Nigeria. If you look at the statistics, are very clear. As far back as 1999, we had 4,000 uncompleted projects. Federal government. And that was not all, because it will cost Nigeria 300 billion naira to complete the project in 30 years' time to come. As far back as 1999, and today, you are talking about 17 trillion naira that Nigeria will actually use to ensure that projects that have not been completed are completed. The Vice Chancellor University of Jos, Professor Tanko Ishaya, and the Dean Faculty of Agriculture in the same institution, Professor Nuhu, warned that Nigeria faces serious food crisis if the trend of insecurity especially on farmers, continue unchecked. I tend to see a situation where the Nigerian leaders are paying just lip services to the issue of food security, where there has been no any deliberate effort by our leaders to show that they would want to solve the problem of food insecurity. Discover that our rural poor are languishing in poverty, you know, and it affects the rural people more than the people that are in the urban areas. Very tremendous, because this thing is affecting not only able-bodied farmers on the land, it's affecting children. They are out of school, and you can imagine what that can do to this country. Uh, increasing the population of people who will become redundant, will become they can easily be co-opted into the banditry and the terrorism, or whatever the case might be. The insecurity of the Boko Haram has been drastically reduced. In fact, to the BRS, you hardly hear now issues of kidnapping or attacks in the most religious organization in the market. It is long gone. Right? So it has been the governors of the states and the federal government support the military are doing an excellent job. The head, Department of Political Science in Unijos, Professor Major Adeyi, sheds light on the persistent conflicts in governance at the state's levels. Uh, in most cases, they are not best of friends. It's just to meet some constitutional requirements. And no governor or a political leader will want somebody that is not too close to him to succeed him. In that case, they will want either their chief of staff or a commissioner they brought in based on personal relationship to continue. Only very few governors, even those who did that, discovered that at the end of the day they were not in good terms with the governor, the deputy that succeeded them. As the former deputy governors conclude their conference with recommendations, Nigerians expect the authorities to work with them to deepen governance.